So my friends, I want to help you escape weed addiction. That's why I make these videos. I want you to live a more empowered, fulfilling, meaningful, and purposeful life. And I know from my experience that a weed addiction stopped me from living my best life. So I share my story in hopes that it helps you. So today's topic are three things that I have to do today to live comfortably without weed. The first one is to be honest with myself that weed does not serve me in any capacity whatsoever. And for years, I denied that. I justified it and rationalized it because I liked the feeling of getting high. I would, uh, I told myself that the reason that I smoked weed is because it made me more creative, more present, more spiritual. But if I pulled focus and really took an honest look at my life in weed addiction, uh, it stopped me from taking chances in my life. It stopped me from taking care of myself. It stopped me from growing. It uh, created this narrative that I was somehow a victim and that I had no agency and that I was somehow broken. And I was, when I str was struggling for so long, I wouldn't be honest about that. I just wanted that relief, that fast acting pain relief. And it did not serve me in any way whatsoever. And I have to believe that today because I don't want to go backwards. And when I, would go back to smoking weed. That's what I would do time and time again. I would go backwards in my life. Just entropy, just chaos, just flat, just bored, just self-loathing, just stuck. So today I'm very clear that weed does not serve me in any capacity whatsoever. The second thing I have to do to live without weed comfortably and well is to take care of myself, is to do the small little things in my life to take the best care of myself that I possibly can, to clean my environment, to eat healthy, to sleep well, to pay attention of the narratives that are going on in my life and choose narratives that allow me to be as useful as I possibly can. And to um, be feel good about the small things. I mean, uh, my weed addiction kind of trained my brain to think that life was should be some never ending high. And it kind of can be, but it's much more in the moment and it's much more an appreciation and a, and a presence of being alive and being here now and uh, focusing on what is right here, right now. And taking the best care of myself that I possibly can. When I do that, I can be incredibly useful in life. And the more I take care of myself, the more useful I can be to other people. And the more useful I am to other people, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, the better I feel about myself. And you can gain this positive momentum in life, which I did not experience in my weed addiction. My weed addiction, was incredibly selfish. It was incredibly focused on me. And that's the third thing I have to do is I got to find, I need to find a focus on serving others, on um, 
being positive, being kind, being honest, and giving, and finding someone to serve. And that's part of why I make videos. Uh, I, I want to help you. I want to help you um, be honest with yourself and make some positive changes in your life. And you in turn doing the same with other people. And it, you know, it's just this small, tiny part of making the world a better place and to not making it all about me. And uh, if I do those three things, my life is good and I sleep really well at night. And uh, those three things again are being honest with myself that weed does not serve me in any way, taking care of myself to the very best of my ability and serving others. If you found any value in this video, please like and subscribe. That's what I got today. Peace.